It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 246. In today's episode, Amazon slammed for destroying returns in Germany. Amazon is reportedly destroying massive amounts of as-new and returned items in Germany. This is according to a report by Forbes, sourced from German business weekly, Wirtschaftswoche, and news show Frontal 21. Amazon routinely destroys returns of health and personal care items for sanitary reasons, but the goods in question are things like washing machines and smartphones. And as predicted, there were angry reactions from the German government and environmental campaigners. This is a huge scandal, Jochen Flossbarth from the German Environment Ministry told Wirtschaftswoche. We are consuming these resources despite all the problems in the world. This approach is not in step with our times. Upon hearing the destruction of returned goods, Greenpeace's Kirsten Brody said a new law on banning the waste and destruction of firsthand and usable goods was needed. Amazon Germany says it's committed to reducing product waste and has several programs in a place to achieve this. Returns are either resold through Amazon Warehouse, recycled or donated to charity through platforms such as Enatura and through food banks. Where products cannot be sold, resold, or donated, we work with wholesale liquidators who buy these goods and resell them through other channels, Amazon Germany said. Some manufacturers prefer to have their products destroyed rather than returned, as destroying the goods is often cheaper than shipping and warehousing the damaged stock. But the real issue was how long the goods were held until they were destroyed. The Vorschaft Volka report claims that some items were destroyed after being in Amazon's warehouse for only a day and cites Amazon employees as saying they have destroyed goods worth tens of thousands of euros on a daily basis. When questioned by Forbes magazine on how much inventory it destroys and what destruction entails, how much material is recycled, the company did not provide an answer. That's kind of unbelievable that it's just destroying stuff. I don't like stuff. to hear stories like this. It's just, I think it's silly. Like, why? Why? Well, when you look at it from a dollar and cents, you know, it's every little piece takes up a square inch and every square inch costs a penny and every penny adds up to a dollar. So you know how that goes. It's always about the M-O-N-E-Y. Right. But the fact that they're throwing away, destroying, destroying things is just, um, that kind of gets my goat. <laughs> gets your goat. Gets my goat. It gets my Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. I, I just don't get it. Why? Why would you just destroy it and not resell it or, or anything like that? I mean, well, it says that they attempt to sell some of the stuff. I guess uh, I've, they have some a program called Amazon Warehouse, which I guess is like a scratch and dent for returned goods. Which okay, that makes right. sense. They do recycle from charity, but I guess because of sheer volume, they're still destroying thousands of dollars worth of goods every day. Ugh environmentally that just makes my stomach turn um i mean there's training i mean germany they don't (laughs) they take this stuff very very seriously this is a bit this is actually a big deal in germany i didn't find too many u.s articles about this but this is a big deal in germany yeah daniel likey (laughs) um i just wonder like why they're not recycling like all that stuff they're just destroying it i'm sure some some person with a calculator said it's cheaper just to throw it away yeah but it's like it's the it's the short look at it not the long look at it um which is you know environmentally it sucks um and sure. maybe maybe they're saving pennies right now but you know they're gonna get hit with fines and stuff like that yeah no PR way wise, can, this is just the pr pr wise this is just and they want to get into all these places it's like hey, you might want to look at this first yeah, and you know, again, Germany—they're a lot more environmentally conscious than, say, um, all Europe is. Yeah, all Europe. So let's let's broaden that. All of Europe is more environmentally conscious than the U.S. Uh, and I think you're going to see some regulations coming down the pike because of this. I mean, this was a, as I said, it was a huge scandal over there. Um, so we'll see what happens. And it just—I don't know. That's just, I just this is, the whole thing just bothers me. I don't really have much to add. <laughs> uh, yeah, it definitely bothers me. So it's no bueno. All right. Sorry for the bummer news. Got anything else, Dad? John, you just being bummer. <laughs> <laughs> I promise we'll have some fun stories for the rest of the week, folks. Got anything else? Oh, yeah, we definitely do. Uh, no, that's it. All right. That's your commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. 
That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>